Mm -hmm. So we move on to December 10th. Uh, We have the team. I have the wrong points. Give me a second. I got to bring up the right screen. There it is. I got my right (laughs) screen up. I have actually got my notes again. Um, So it's a team of the Knights of Time, Kevin Knight and Kushida taking on Flying Tiger, Robbie Eagles, Tiger Mask. Both these teams are out. This is the fine, and this is the night nine, the the night that makes puts everybody into the finals. Um, I'll say this: I noticed this. Tiger Mask likes to likes to tan because when he was putting a hold on Kevin Knight, this is when I noticed it most. He had a headlock on Kevin Knight, and I was like, "Dude, they have the skin 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 color." (laughs) And I've seen Ty, I I I've seen Tiger like the this guy. Before he is not this dark naturally. I was like, <laughs> "Holy crap, dude! You tan a lot, man." Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, look at the time that he comes from, though, right? Yeah, I know, but it's just—it's just when you're tanned as dark as Kevin Knight. That's I'm like, that's a little far. But I've seen it with other <laughs> professional wrestlers. I've seen people, white guys, go darker than Kevin Knight with their tanning. Danny Duggan. Honey, my um, but yeah. I saw girls darker than Kevin Knight that were my skin color. <laughs> yeah, so it was, yeah, dude, I gotta give a shout out to, to, to Kushida in this match, man. Mm-hmm. Like, just his mm-hmm. cart, his cartwheel drop kicks, his, the, like, there was a great spot with a cartwheel drop kick by Kushida and then a running frog splash by Kevin Knight. Great little combo, but the 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 flips that Kushida does, they're just impressive. Like, the back, back spring hand the handspring back elbows, the Pele kicks this guy does. It just, they're all on point, man. They really are. But in the end, um, Kushida goes and gets the Kimura on Robbie, and uh, Knight hits a pendulum DDT on Tiger Mask and gets the win. My note is, this is a great way to cap out the tournament, especially for Kevin Knight. Mm-hmm. He gets the win in his final match. It gives him the sec- the their points... They're given four points. He got the final pin on essentially a junior legend. And like that's huge for this guy. Like it's it, mm-hmm. capping it off with a win. That is a great and, and he had a great even with a, a two and seven record, these Kevin Knight had such an amazing tournament. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I hundred percent agree. Yeah. Um, the only thing I wanted to add, but real quick, that happened before this match is I did watch a, a couple of the undercard matches because I had a little extra time on I my didn't. hands. <laughs> this, this night was actually Hiromu's birthday. And the match before this was when um, Naito decided to put on Hiromu's uh, leather jacket. And mm-hmm. um, Hiromu got to put on Naito's um, ball cap that he comes out with. And he turned it mm-hmm. sideways like a hooligan. And they got nice. to have their fist pump send off. So that was my little fun thing I wanted to share beforehand that happened. And JBW mm. News, News Flash. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, but um, for this match in particular, I also wanted to say before the match started, um, lovely to have the crowds chanting again. The Robbie, Robbie, Robbie chant was just. Oi, oi, oi. I love it. I love that he does it and that, that the crowd is so behind it. Um, there was one point that I, I did want to point out that I really thought Kushida did a really good job. It was a really funny little spot where Robbie Eagles is doing his gunshot and uh, Kushida just simply ducks it. Like just Samoa Joe's it around and he just, ah, the, the playoff was really sweet. It showed the camaraderie between the teams because Kushida is a part of that Hontai team which is a part of what um, uh, Tiger Mask is a part of, right? So it was nice to see the camaraderie and the niceness happening between the, the teams here. Um, I felt this was a really fun match. And as you said, really, really great way to, to send off Knight with a win against a, a junior vet. And he's going, and this isn't the last night he's going to be competing. He will be on the December, on the December 14th show. Um, he will, it is an eight man tag on the night. We are going to preview that show. Don't get me wrong. The third from the main event looks like it's going to be Mel's favorite for the never open weight title. As I joke, no. I joke. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> I knew you would not be happy with me saying that. But. So we move on to uh, this match. Um, yeah. I, I mean, I can take the lead talking on this because, like, it was yeah, a magic it. mic show, ladies. We saw more of Clark Connors' butt 
than we did mostly anything else. And and you know, I I'm not I'm not. That's a nice but. I mean, if we want to get some lady viewers into NJPW, this is what you want to watch. Um, but not actually for the wrestling though, because everything else about the wrestling in this was just horrible. Um, there, it, the 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 thing that House of Torture has been doing with us in this tournament is is almost, uh, and I'm, I apologize about the terminology, but it's a cock tease. It's almost like they start the match like hey we're gonna have a little bit of a match here it's gonna be great we're gonna do good and then the house of torture shenanigans happen and that's when the tease part of that happens and it's like yeah we got you we we thought we mm -hmm. were gonna do something good but no we just we just did this um <clears throat> you're gonna love this line i think um so i'll, I'll, I'll go it's my second note i'll read my first one first Connors and Show had a great um, start in the first part of this match. Um, mm -hmm. The face-off shots were great, um, where where um, Show very very expressive with his face, but Clark Connors was giving it back to him just as much. Made it for a very very fun um, kind of opening bit. Um, the spear by Connors was phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. We're used to seeing Show pull mm -hmm. off those amazing spears. This time he got one handed to him, and it was just glorious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My second note, and this is the one I think you'll like, Taguchi on a hot tag, coming in and throwing ass. That was yep. my note. <laughs> and that's yeah. what he was oh. doing. Um, hip tosses everywhere, or hip throws, butt throws, whatever you want to call it. Just butts for everyone in everyone's faces. It was a good time. The butt whips. The butt whips. Yeah, the butt whips followed, yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, Taguchi drunk is hilarious. Um, he He... He hulked up. He he got his Popeye spinach. He got his Sapporo. Um, ducking Togo and taking him out. Uppercutting shows balls. That was great. Mm -hmm. And then also uppercutting um, Evil's balls. It was just ball shots for everyone all around. It was glorious until it was no longer glorious. And yeah. the pants came down. And, and you know, ladies, I did say Magic Mike. I mean, we saw a lot of Clark Connors' ass. We also saw a lot of Takuchi's ass. So just please bear that in mind. <laughs> um, great camera work. I, I thought it was funny, again, using the rope as a, as a <laughs> censorship bar. And us needing it this time. The last time the, the, the boxers didn't come, the second pair didn't <laughs> come all the way off. This time they did. This time they did. And I think it was merciful that we maybe didn't watch show mowing down on somebody's booty hole. Yeah, um, I'm good with that. I'm good with that seeing yeah. that. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, at the end, we'll just get it. This, the, the murder machine show managed to pin to Gucci after the drunken debacle. This was just chaos, Andre. What do you think about this? Yeah, I, I just... There was some fun stuff in it, but it's just, it's just so much of this house torture stuff. And I'm just, I'm done. I'm just done. And I have stuff, we still have to review one more house torture match. And it, that's, I think, almost the worst one yet. Yeah. <sighs> I just, no I'm just done with life. this team. I'm just <laughs> done with this team, man. I just love wild hips, but man, show and Togo just take the show, these, these things down for me, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're gonna move on because yeah. I don't want to talk about house <laughs> torture for a little bit. Um, dude, Sauce Hearts versus Doki and Yoshinobu Kanemaru. Suzuki Gun is eliminated. Sauce mm -hmm. Hearts. So their 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 path to the final is is they have to win, mm -hmm. and they need to have Leo Rush and Yo lose. Mm -hmm. That is their path. They need Yo Leo to lose. And they need to win. Absolutely phenomenal match. Like, geez, guys, all are so so good. Again, everybody, you got you guys know my love for Alex Zane. I've been praising this man this entire tournament. I think he's absolutely the most entertaining, one of the most entertaining professional wrestlers out there right now. But man, Lin, like, was it uh, so uh, Yoshino Kanemaru and Doki? Man, they stepped their game up so much in this match. They were like on point, man. Um, dude, it's, it, it's so good. Uh, 
I'll give it to Doki. He gets that, that he just huge DDTs he hits, man, are so good. And not even the Daybreaker one. Just when he just gets those big ones, just left and just driving a guy down, looks so good, man. And Kanemaru, like he's for a junior, he's not one of the most fast, not one of the most fastest people out there. But his timing, his 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 ring expertise, his experience, just makes him so good. The only spot I think that went bad with him in this match was the one where Zane tried to run on him off the top and Zane's kind of falling and, and Kanemar almost just did a front flip off the top because mm-hmm. Zane's feet were already kind of away from him at the time. But yeah, uh, Kanemar reversing the Baja blast. I said so far Teton was the only guy and he did that front flip out. Kanemaru, as he got flipped forward, just started running. <laughs> As his feet, when he, when he could get his feet under him, he started running and he just ran out of the Baja Blast. I found that absolutely phenomenal. Oh, dude, it was so good. Uh, Zane with the with the beautiful super kick and a bridging German to do- getting a two on Doki, so good. But in the end, they get a gore. There's a gory special by uh, Doki. I'm pretty sure it was. And Kanemaru hits the wheel, or no, sorry, it was a, do- a gory special by Kanemaru. And Doki got the wheelbarrow into the dragon suplex for the win and eliminating the Sauce Hearts from being able to make it to the finals. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, I, I don't have a ton to add to this, um, just to, except for to just agree with you. <laughs> that, um, my notes here, I had great match. Um, Alex Zane, incredible talent crazy unique style taking down both Lindemann and Kanemaru. I don't, it was, that's that crazy little thing where he just ended up throwing Doki down, coming around with a, a kick where mm-hmm. he just spins around. Like, it's just so quick, so unique, so cool. Um, Lindemann just so crazy strong. If you guys don't follow him on Instagram, do it. I don't. <laughs> Highly I recommend it. Well, maybe you might not enjoy it, but I sure do. Um, but yeah, th- this was a fun match. I-, I really, really enjoyed this match. I, I love Doki and Kanemaru. I would have liked to see Sauce Hearts win this one, but uh, it is what it is. I-, I felt it was a great, great match. Yeah. So we move on to the next match of the evening. It is Yo Leo, the team of Leo Rush and Yo, uh, taking on Titan and Bushi from Los Angeles. No, but upon. If Leo and Yo win, they automatically advance. LAJ, they need to win, as everybody does here, but they have to have either Bullet Club or Sauce Hearts lose, and Sauce Hearts have already lost, so they're past the final. They just need to win here to get in because Sauce Hearts have already lost, so they it doesn't matter if Bullet Club makes it in. It's just if Sauce Hearts and Bullet Club have both won, they would, they would be in. They won. It's just the tiebreakers would have taken them out. So, yeah. Absolutely phenomenal match. I don't have a lot for this one. I uh, I watched this match on 1.5 times the speed because I was trying to catch up this morning at oh no. 6 30 in the morning before having to go to work at 10 a- for 10 a.m. So yeah, I still caught the big spots. Uh dude, the front flips by Teton when he's just like doing the flip overs and like that looks like he's landing on his forearms when he's doing the flips. Mm-hmm. Like he's like mm-hmm. flipping over, but he's yeah. like, dude. It, it, it's it's just so good. Um, Leo hitting a beautiful acai moonsault onto both of LIJ on the floor. The standing Spanish fly by Leo to Teton looked so good. Very, very good, man. All these guys. Uh, Yo ended up stopping the MX foot stomp at one point, and Leo gets a beautiful springboard stunner onto Bushi for two. Dude, absolutely phenomenal match. And then in the end, um, Yo, as... I think uh, the Japanese announcer called it when Yo hit it was like Ushigaroshi, but it was like a suplex into an Ushigaroshi by Mm -hmm. Yo. And Leo comes off the top with the final hour frog splash. They get the win. Yo, Leo, they advance to the Super Junior Tag League finals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The only thing I want to add to this is you don't touch somebody's mask. It's true. I want to say, I'll say this. Somebody's mask. It was for Teton, man. This is my least favorite mask of his the entire tournament. I really didn't care for the mask he had this tournament. Mess with it. I know, no, no, I'm not saying that, but <laughs> I, like, you know how cool his mask has been every show. 
I found this I one mean, just a little a underwhelming. One every single time. I just found this one slightly underwhelming. I think it's because it was his um because it was the his kind of regular kind of viper looking one, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. But yeah, it's, it's just like a, the regular lucha mask with the viper kind of loking things on it. Yeah. Yeah, it was, I, it was nice. It's just for me looking at all his masks with this tournament, it was my least favorite so mm -hmm. far. So, and when I yeah. say playing with the mask, I met Leo afterwards sitting there making a mockery, putting it on. Eh. I'm okay with it. Yeah. Don't touch I'm it. it. I'm okay. I'm okay with it. He won. He had Don't the right. He had the right to do that. He beat him. We he agree to disagree. No touchy match five. <laughs> no touching match five. You don't want to go down this match. <laughs> no sure. touching match five. <laughs> so we go on to the main event of the evening, and this this match decides who will face Yo Leo in the finals. You have the team of Catch Two Two. You have uh, TJP and Francesco Akira taking on the Bullet Club's Ace Austin, Chris Bay. Um, yeah, like the note before Bullet Club needed to have either Sauce Fights or K Sauce Fights or Chaos lose. It's flying Sauce Fights are out, so this is just a winner gets in match. Dude, like, holy crap. And I watched this on 1.5 times the speed, but still, holy crap. Like, these guys, <laughs> like, just, a, the a, like, just, I'll say that for Bullet Club, the theatrics they do just to back rake a person are are pretty damn funny. Like, Ace Austin do a roll through the ropes in and then cartwheeling over and then just doing, like, almost a Ric Flair strut and then just the back rake. It just... It's the charisma of these two, off of Bay and Austin, that I love so much for these guys, man. I, I really do. Um, dude, beautiful tornado DDT by TJP to Ace Austin in this match. Just, just crushed him with it. Um, I'm just trying to look up a couple more big spots that I really liked in this. Um, Akira, oh, this is a spot that I was, I, I almost called in the other one, but it was just Akira ended up hanging Ace onto the ropes and then goes, comes back and does like a a dive over top of Ace, who's like, like dangled on the ropes, like hips onto the top rope, dangling on both sides. Akira leaps over him onto Bay on the floor, and this is where TJP comes off the top and Mamba splashes Ace, who's on the ropes. Absolutely mm -hmm. phenomenal. And uh, then, then uh, catch catch you two hit their inverted DDT and stomp combo, but only got two. Yeah, but dude, I love that spot. Him coming off the top of that Mamba Splash onto the rope with a cure after a cure dove over him. I was just like, that's impressive, man. Um, yeah. I, 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 do, I, I thought we were getting leaning leaning tower tonight. I really did. But <laughs> he ended up stopping it. And I was just like, you son of a... And then and he hits like a spin kick to the head. Then it hits like a... A bay hits like an inverted T, TKO. But dude, um, the end of this match came. Uh, catch... Catch you two. They miss the sandwich knees. Uh, and then Bay ends up hitting ultimate finesse onto both members of Catch Two Two. And Ace hits the fold on Akira and then runs and Fosbury flops. So TJP's rolled to the outside at this point. Fosbury flops TJ on the floor, and then Bay hits the the former fit the old the fit the old finisher of Kushida, the small package driver, and wins this match. Absolutely phenomenal. Bullet Club advances to the final. We're getting Yo Leo versus the Bullet Club. I am oh my god. Their their first match was a phenomenal. I cannot wait to see the rematch, man, in the final, man. I'm super excited. Yeah, yeah. This was a really, really fun one. Um I can't imagine watching it on one one and a half speed. That must have been a <laughs> ride for you, sir. A couple times I had to pause. <laughs> There's a couple times I had to pause so I could finish my notes before it kept going. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, Bullet Club working very hard at the beginning, especially to uh, isolate Akira from TJP, picking him apart. Um, very, very smart, very, very intelligent um, for them to to kind of pull away the younger one um, from from the more vet one. But these two really did use this match to pick apart the champions. I think they were kind of not not only just trying to get the two points and, and ensure that they continued on in the tournament. I think this was a learning experience for them and, and a showing experience also that they've studied these two guys. They know exactly what their strengths are and they're going to try to take them down. Um, 
unfortunately, I think that this might be something that United Empire needs to uh, start uh, looking at because they can't really they can't really study Chris Bay and Ace Austin. They're a new tag team, so they're kind of at a disadvantage here. Not technically. Akira if they... and TJP have been tagging for at least a little bit. If you have an NJPW, um, but so have Ace and Bay. Subscription, you can watch. Ace and Bay matches. have been tagging though on Impact, so there is video out there. They've been tagging together since uh, Ace joined the Bullet Club back in uh, was at the end of May, early June there. Since Ace came back from the best of Super Juniors, him and Bay formed a tag team in Impact. They've been okay, wrestling how there. How long have, have these two been tagging now? About the same amount of time. Yeah, but you they, can find their, more they, form, they formed. They formed. They formed. They formed on Ace Austin and Bay. No, actually, no, because uh, well, I'm probably about the same because Bay and Austin were working together pretty regularly in New Japan Strong and in uh, uh, on Impact. So. Yeah. So. <laughs> but I yeah, watch uh, impact, so, you yeah. Know. <laughs> that, that, and that's your fault. But you can check out. I know. Friends, there's no check out our good there. friends Astro Prezaro and uh, Cody Defoe on their. Uh, their when they're impact. not fighting with the Impact X Division champion. Yeah, when they're when I'm doing <laughs> that, they they review Impact every week. So check that out, please. Uh, I'm not going to go over the point totals because the two men in the finals, it's, it's Yo Leo. And Chris Ace, Chris Chris Bay and Ace Austin, that's your that's your final match for uh, December fourteenth for them. 